Well, another big final today over the far side of the track, the women's triple jump, and a big clash, as we expect, between the two favourites, Rojas and Ibagüen. Now the trumpets are sounding. Well done, those men. Well, we're coming now to the introductions of the women. First of all, Janika Thomas of Jamaica. One of two Jamaicans in this, the three times collegiate champion. And we've got Gerst of Germany, the European indoor champion. Then the other Jamaican, seventh and sixth at the two Olympics, Kimberly Williams. Kazakhstan, Olga Rapakova, the Olympic champion in 2012. Susanna Costa of Portugal. No, sorry, this is Olga Rapakova, sorry. The triple Olympic finalist. And then, then we're coming to Costa Susanna. Susanna Costa, sorry. And this is one of the uh, favorites, maybe, for a bronze medal, Minenko. Patricia Mamona, the European silver medalist. Yulia Roas, as I said, the world champion and then Olympic silver medalist. And this is it, twice the world champion, Kadrina Ibarguen. Really enjoy yourself. And the crowd are going to love this triple jump over the far side. Then for Germany, Eckhart. 10th in the World Championships, moving up now to the senior event. And they're making up these 12 women. Anna Politero, World Junior Champion, and European under 23 last year. Well, just about to start now. In the triple jump, Shanika Ricketts. She's wondering whether they're going to do the first heat of the 400 metres hurdles, or second heat, I say, of the 400 metres hurdles, but she's decided to take her jump now, quickly, before it all proceeds. As I said, she's been based in America, the San Diego, San Diego University, three times the collegiate champion. Along with her teammate here, Kimberly Williams, who's more experienced, you should say, with sixth and seventh in the last two Olympics. And she won the Jamaican Championship seven times, so there's a, a duo. Look at its best season uh, performance is 14.57. Uh, just a shade over that 14 metre mark. So the white flag. Well, it's early days in the triple jump and a lot of these jumps will get a fairly easy jump in, I think, to start with. Making sure they've got something on the scorecard. She's almost uh, on the board perfectly there, just four centimetres short. So speed for the triple jumpers, perhaps not as vital as the long jump, but uh, having said that, they've obviously got to get uh, some momentum going. It's a difficult sport to get right, the triple jump. Again, discussing with their coaches. This is only a new thing, actually. In the past, you weren't allowed to talk to your coaches at all during competitions, but uh, I think they realised they just couldn't stop it. Kirsten Gersh, European indoor champion, now stepping onto the runway. Personal best of the season's best of 1440 this year. Oh, well, that's not bad. That's about 14, 15, 14, 20. Good start. Good phases there, three equal phases, and not bad off on the board for the first time of a run up. 13 centimetres or so just drift. 
She was drifting though, wasn't she, Steve? In between the two phases, towards the side of the lane, but... There you are, 14-16, so it was around that 14-20 uh, mark, so the, we're seeing some accurate markings now in the sand. We didn't see that a couple of times, but we're actually now seeing it quite comfortably. With the cover of Kazakhstan. First round. Flags fly. 2012 Olympic champion. 32 years of age now, but uh, a real talent. Lovely long strides. Oh, that's a bigger jump than anyone we've seen so far. That's well over the 14 in the mid 14s. Yeah, she's got to be happy. The big two haven't turned up yet, but that's a very good jump first round for Repikova. Just wait and see. Oh, good. That was good on the board. Well, I think experience is really paying dividends for this woman. Just have a quick wait. Anxious chat to the coach. Well, there it is. 14.45. Well, she goes sailing into the lead, but it's early days in the triple. Mamona now, next in the triple jump. Well, there's a lot of noise in the stadium, everybody's enjoying themselves. And most of the athletes have got to try and concentrate now. This is a big, big time for them. Mamona, the European silver medalist back in 2012. And gold in 2016. Sixth in Rio, she's a real talent. Small, diminutive. And that is another big, oh, but the red flag goes up. Well, that was another big jump, it really was. Perhaps the biggest so far. Let's just see how far, wow, wow, she was well over the board. The problem with that is that you don't get the same sort of uh, generated push if you hit the uh, Mondo track or the plasticine as much as you would do going off that hard board. But even so, that was a big jump. Really excited to see Yulia Rojas and Katarina Bargwin, the South Americans, will be hoping to duel for glory. But Riparkova has put it out there at 14.45, so this is going to be fascinating, Steve. It, it's got the makings of a classic rivalry, this, between the two South Americans. Well, here we go. As uh, Rob has said, he's getting excited himself next to me here. This is a clash. It really is. Rojas now, the world indoor champion, then Olympic silver. She loves getting the crowd behind her. Venezuela now, all hopes pinned on this woman. The world leader this year. What can she do? Oh, it was a good jump, but she, I think, slowed into it. She's got a lot more there, I think, if it uh, comes to the crunch. Chopping her stride. Yeah, look, she's just saying she's chopping her stride a little bit, and it, it's true. Katha, my co-commentator, picked on that one. And here it was. It was about... Let's have a look. Well, she's behind the board. Not by much, though, but she's behind the board. But as, I think it was a problem with her run-up. Not quite right. But when she does, you can see there's a big, big jump there. It's still big. Let's just wait. Just had a quick chat to a coach as you walk back now to the uh, seats where they've got their track suits. It's taking a long time to get this score up. Just rehearsing what she's got to do. Well, she's hoping it's further than 40.45, which is Ripakova's lead at the moment. So, awaiting the measurement. But as you say, Rob, this is a, a wonderful duel, a wonderful head-to-head -head and battle again between these two. Olympic gold and silver last year, with Ibarguin taking the title. But Rojas is Oh, we're still waiting the world for that leader. distance, really. It's a sh I don't know why that hasn't come up now. Now, Ibarguin, the other of the big duel, the defending world champion coming now for her first jump. Oh, and it's big. Well, the white flag goes up. It's 
Still no uh, score for Rojas. The bargain, though, that's got to be the lead jump so far. Look at that. Almost perfect on the board. Well, we saw Anita Vladarchik earlier get her third world title. She's going for three as well in Bargwin. No athlete this year over the 15-metre barrier in women's triple jumping. It's not been of the same standard as it has been in previous years, but the competition, of course, is, is still fierce. But Yeah, she's still looking too. Well, there, seems to be, there seems to be a lot of problems maybe with getting that score up. We still are waiting for Rice's performance. But there's Ibargwen's 14.67. Well, getting back to the triple jump, there's still some confusion. What's going on? Rojas is looking here, and it's, we're on our, on our um, information, we have got no measurement for that jump of Rojas, even though we've got a wind measurement for it, we've got no jump for it. No measurement for it, I should say. Meanwhile, we'll, we'll bring you up to date with that. Neil Eck up there. Coming through to her jump. Oh, that's a good jump from her, too. Well, we've just got the uh, jump now confirmed from Johas, and we'll give you that in a minute, but uh, this is a good jump from the German. Eckhart sees his best of 14.35. Good placement on the board, good phases as well in the jump. Good leg shoot. Just a patient wait now. Hopefully there's no problems with the... Well, there it is, 13.94. So that's a good jump from her. Not her best, but uh, puts her in eighth at the moment. Well, here's Rojas. We had to wait an awful long time, and so did she, actually, before she got a score. And there it is. It was a good jump, 14.55. Not as good as Ibarguens, but... Uh, Yes, and unfortunately for her, it must have been disconcerting because, I mean, she didn't know she was in the lead there until after Ibarguen, and then she lost it again quickly, so disappointment, really, but she's in second place, as you'd expect. And she was at least 15, 16 centimetres behind the board. So that duel is underway, and she'll be relieved that that mark has been recorded. Well, a bit of confusion there. She did have a word with the officials, and I think they've uh, obviously decided there was something wrong with the equipment. They've changed that, thankfully. Ricketts now. The Jamaican, first round performance of 14.13. Season's best, much better than that. 14.38, personal best, 14.57. Oh, just on that 40 metre mark, I think. White flag goes up. So as I said, a best in the first round, 14-13, keeping her in fifth. Just lost a little bit of height there in the second phase. Yeah, a long way back from the ball. There it is, 24 centimetres. If you add that to a, any jump, it's going to be a significant difference. I think this is a great shot. Hit the pit. Sand comes right up into the camera. <laughs> I wonder if they clean the camera every time they do the jump. I'll have to wait and see. But she's looking, and let's have a look. Uh, well, not as good as her first round. 14.04. Kimberly Williams, the other of the Jamaicans, now on the run up. Seven times the Jamaican champion, which is the experience for that must stand her in terrific stead here in the pressure of the Olympic Stadium. Second in Rabat, third in the Diamond League in Monte Carlo. So she's in form. You don't get many chances to do the triple jump around the world, but when you do, the competition there is stacked up against you. So that sort of performance means she's in great shape. Oh, just lost it. Red flag. She knew she'd hit the board, I think, or got over the board. It is a very, very technical event. You've got to control yourself. It's not like the long jump, everything. You in the long jump, you just explode off the board. Yeah, well over the plasticine there. But in the triple jump, you have to control it. It's all about three phases. It's all about keeping the momentum going. Well, she's in eighth place, 14.01.
Well, it's three phases, isn't it, Steve? And it's three jumps because, again, we'll need the top eight to get three further jumps. So Williams in that precarious eighth position at the moment. Yep. Jogacic. She's in sixth place at the moment with that 14-13. That's a better phase. Yes, that's a better jump. Yeah, that is much better. You can see the difference. It goes very smoothly if it all goes well, but horribly wrong if it doesn't. There you go. Let's have a look. It's the board well. Good first phase. The momentum carries on. And that's a very good jump. Might be close to our uh, season's best here. And that will be 14.29. Let's just have a quick look. She made the final. In Rio, she's made the final here. Oh, it's close. 14.25, but it moves her up into fourth place. Rekapova now. Another one vastly experienced at this event. 2012 Olympic champion. I mean, Kazakhstan's first athlete to win an Olympic field event title at the Games. Concentration, here we go. Very, very rangy. Oh, that's a big jump. Oh, another red flag again. She's popping these big jumps out, though. It's only a matter of time, maybe before she does produce a really big jump here. Oh! Well, it's close, but too close sometimes. Rojas! Yeah, she gets them going in the crowd. This is round two. As you expect, the battle is going on here. Ibarguen leads with that uh, first round jump of 14.67. In Bargwen, 14.67, Rohash, 14.55. What can she do? Oh, can she can do a lot. That's a big jump. Trips over the microphone there, on, but the white flag goes up this time, and let's hope we get the result quicker than we did for her first jump. She's happy, she's jogging back. She knows she's done a big jump. Beautiful phase, long, long third jump into that pit. Well, there's still room for improvement. Look at the look at the height of that third phase. Massive jump. Wow, 14.82. She shoots into the lead. That is a massive jump for her. OK, well, if you slap an ace down on the table, someone else has got to put an ace down again afterwards to beat it. Ibarguen, oh, it's another big jump, but is it long enough? Well, the Venezuelan sees that the white flag is being raised. Well, Steve, this is becoming the duel that we hoped it would. Rojas, the young, hugely talented Venezuelan, launching out to 1482. She's asking the questions of Ibarguen. Can the Colombian find the answers? Well, Rojas was waiting there when the white flag went up. I said the Venezuelan, I meant Rojas was watching that white flag up because every time this woman jumps in Barguen, you expect a big jump. You really do. Ripakova, round three. that big jump in the first round 14.45 which put her into second and then there was obviously the jumps after that of Rohash which pushed her out of second place but oh that's another big jump she had a foul in the second round I was about to say which was a big jump but that really sailing over that 14 meter mark in Bargwen, in, uh, looking on there. Oof, she is back in form. She really is perfect on the board, really. 
the ex-Olympic champion here, starting to put a good series together. Well, there's the coach. Not a lot you can say about that, I don't think. That's pretty good. Well, look at that. 14.77. She goes back into second place. Yulima Rojas. What can she do? 14.55 first round. 14.82 the second round. Keeping her in second place. That's a massive jump again. You can see on the uh, jump there, the lines, the graphic lines with the gold medal. And that was pretty close to the gold medal. Let's watch again. There it is, that's the yellow line. That the medal position is at the moment, the furthest jump so far. Such height on her jumps, Rahas. Beautiful leg shoots, long legs stinking into that sand. Well, there it is. 14.83, she moves into the lead. Massive jump. What can Imbagwen do now? She's seen that. Oh, and it's another jump. Wow, well, what a battle these two are having. One after another, massive jump. She knows it's good. The hands are on the hips, she's going back. The defending world champion accepted the challenge and has delivered. Perfect on that board. Is it going to be far enough? They are so close, these two, both in competitions all over the world. The Olympics are now here at the World Championships. The battle is on again. Look at that. 14.89. She moves into first. The women's triple jump final continues. Well, it certainly does, and it's continuing in great form. Rapikova now finding herself in third place with that massive jump of 14.77. She's got to do 14.83 to better that. Oh no, this time not as far. She had three massive jumps, one no foul in the second round. And that 14.77 in the third, keeping her in bronze medal position at the moment. Slightly overshooting, I think they're trying a little bit too hard. Well, you've got to really, I suppose, but having said that, She's clearly in third place at the moment. No danger of missing out on those next rounds. Beautiful long leg shoot again. A few more words from the coach. Yeah, not as good, anywhere near as good as her season's best of 14.77 in the second, third round, I should say. Okay, here we go yet again. Unimar Rojas. Second place now after that massive 1430, sorry, 1483. And then it was beaten in the next jump by Embargo 1489. Yeah, she's saying, let's get it on. Getting the crowd going yet again. Rojas. Pounding down the runway. No. Slightly lost her rhythm there, didn't she? My flag goes up, but I don't think she want that one measured too much. Well, there's still another two jumps really to go. Anything can happen in this triple jump. It really can with the way these women are jumping. Good on the ball, but she just technically lost it. Middle phase, I think. Yeah, just the leg just buckled a little bit, and therefore couldn't keep it going. Well, Steve, Rojas and Ibarguen really seem to bring out the best in one another, which is why their battles are always so enthralling. And you're absolutely right, 
With two rounds still remaining, anything could still happen. Well, we're just seeing this picture not quite clear there, but it looked like Pedroza could be the coach. Just saying a few words to it. Right, here we go. The leader in the competition, Mbagwe. 14.89, sealed it, really, in the third round. Can she go further now in the fourth? Pounds down the runway. Oh, another big jump. It's going to be close. The white flag goes up again, good. This is going to be close to her best as well. She is really having a fantastic competition. Massive first phase. And look at that. Right on the gold medal line, if you can call it that. Big, long lead shoot. Straight into the sand. We're still waiting for the distance. It's coming up now. Well, 14.80. Well, not as big as that third round, but look at the consistency in the performances from Mbagwen. Well, fantastic uh, performances there. And Jamaica picking up their first gold medal of these games. We go back quickly to the triple jump. Rojas. Second place at the moment, she really has got to pull a massive jump here to go ahead of Mimbarguen's 14.89. Oh, it's another good jump, and it is close. But if those lines are to be believed, and we shouldn't really take them literally because there's been some mistakes sometimes, she is close. Waiting, waiting for that score to come up. Good on the board. It's not one of the better jumps, but look at the distance, though. Looking. Is it going to be good enough? Good leg shoot. Technically perfect, really. Casually walking back. Whoa, it is good enough. 14.91. The pressure has been applied again. One to another, then back again. What can this woman do? She loves it. She thrives on the competition. Look at her, look. What have I got to do, she says. What have I got to do to win this competition? If I went now, fifth round. Oh, no. Close, but not close enough. Wow, a battle royal going on here. We, the crowd over the back there are loving every minute of this triple jump. What a place. That woman there that looks after the plasticine, she's in the prime position. Absolutely amazing. They're, they're really peppering the marks around the gold medal all the time. The good thing about the competition between these two, they are so close. They are so close. They're almost like matching each other stride for stride in a race. Jagoshik now coming through for her fifth round. Sorry, sixth round it is. No, that's around about the uh, 14 metre mark when the white flag goes up, but I don't think it'll be better. Then her second round, 14.25. So she goes out of the competition at the moment in sixth place. Well, while the uh, the big two are peppering a metre or so ahead of most of these other jumpers, there's still a competition on for bronze medal. We've had a little bit of confusion in the past with those uh, lines that we see graphically imposed on the sand, but we now know emphatically that they are almost perfect. So if you see any jumps that go over them or sailing over them, you know that's a massive jump, OK? Right. 
last round attempts now. Minenko, she is in fourth place at the moment. Her best jump, 14, 42, it came in the fifth round. To go any further, she's got to jump 14, 77. No, not to be. It's got her any disappointment sometimes, I suppose. But they have made the final of the World Championships. Slightly losing it there, jolting on that last phase, the leg just not really going ahead. There it is, that 14-42 season special. We can't ask for more than that. In fourth place. And Bagwe loving it. She really is. Chatting away to a coach. Gersh now, the German, in fifth place. Her best performance was in the third round, 14.30. So to advance, she's got to do another 12 centimetres more, 14.42, to go ahead of Menenko. Pretty good jump. White flag goes up. So her best before that, as we've said, 14.30. Good on the board. Good three even phases. What is that? That looks about 14.30 again. She's really appreciated the support of the crowd. And every one of those triple jumps have had a great time over the back straight. No, not as good. Doesn't push her up into that fourth place. OK. We're getting now to the deciding factors of who wins gold, silver and bronze. Rakapova in third place, 14.77. She's got to go 14.89 to get into silver, and if she goes massively higher than that, she could take the gold. Let's see. Oh, no. So, bronze medal for the Kazakhstan athlete with that massive 14.77 in the third round. She's saying thank you to everybody, and it has been a wonderful competition. So now we're coming down to what is the two most significant jumps in this competition. The leader at the moment, Yunivar Rojas, with that wonderful, absolutely unbelievable 1491 to take the lead in the last round. She's in the lead. So she's not challenging for the lead, but she knows she's not safe. Not when you've got someone like Mbagwin following you up. Here we go, come on. Get me going. Yeah, yeah. I'm number one and I'm going to prove it in this jump. You can see it in her eyes. The last jump for this woman who is already in the lead. Rojas coming thundering down the runway. Here we go. No, no, <laughs> she just didn't have it this time. But now she's got a very, very anxious wait. She doesn't want the silver again, Steve. She got the silver in the Olympics last year behind Ambarguen. And she's now got to watch to see if Ambarguen can pass her lead and snatch the gold medal away from her. She's done all she can with her jump of 14.91. Catherine Ambarguen now two centimetres behind. Will she steal it from her in the last round? Will the results be reversed from Rio? <laughs> well, Ibargwen hasn't jumped anywhere near this jump that this lady has performed. And if she does it, well, pulling it off in the last round of the World Championships.
but she is a real competitor. Look at her. She literally loves the situation. The whole stadium now is clapping. Come on, she says. That's a look of sheer determination, isn't it? Mbappé, a last attempt to come back for the gold. Oh, it's a big jump, but is it far enough? It just looks as if it's on that yellow line. She knows the white flag goes up. It is close. <laughs> it is preciously close. What a competition. What a last jump. It's come up. 14.88, no. She has missed it, and look at the celebrations of the woman that has had to take silver so many times. She has now got the gold. She is literally jumping for joy. What a competition, what a battle with these two. Two strong, feisty female triple jumpers doing battle again here in London. And you said, Steve, look what it meant to her to win the gold this time around. But boy, we're going to have some battles to come in the next couple of years with these two. Brilliant stuff. She's pushing aside the officials to get to her coach in the front. And I don't know who else that is there, but they are loving it. They really are. Great reasons for celebration in Venezuela. Difficult times for her countrymen and women back home. And this could be a uniting force. Rojas is the world champion. And what an unbelievable duel it once again turned out to be. Two women at the peak of their powers, not intimidated. They held this stadium in the palms of their hands. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We used to see some great performances on the track. But really, for me, that's been one of the great performances so far in these championships. As I said before, you just did not know what was going to happen from one round to the next. It changed hands. The gold medal changed hands time and time and time again. Wow. Absolutely wonderful. Look at over there taking the bronze medal to these two wonderful performances from these other two athletes. There you are, confirmation of that wonderful competition. Rojas is 1491, just two centimetres ahead of Mbagwe. Rapikova taking the bronze medal, much deserved for the season's best, 1477. Another season's best, Bominenko in fourth place for Israel. Wonderful, wonderful competition.